I've mentioned shooting Super 8 a few times on the channel. It is time to talk about the first cartridge roll pack film. The first time I shot Super 8 film. This, what a great intro. I picked up a Canon 514 XL. Now XL obviously is not extra large, it stands for existing light. The camera apparently has a maximum aperture of f1.9 and the manual for the camera claims that it's good to shoot in low light. We shall see. Now the reason I'm so obsessed with the Super 8 stuff lately is the channel analog resurgence. I mentioned it in my 10 under 10 video. Noah is my Super 8 guardian angel. I bothered him so much while I was messing with this Super 8 stuff so please go say hi on his channel. Tell him I sent you. He is just wonderful. He's a beauty. I thank you so much Noah. This would not have happened without you. So before we get into the shoot, a few notes about the camera for those of you who might not be familiar with Super 8 like me at the beginning of this experience. Who am I kidding? I still don't know anything. Anything. In order to focus on this, you have to zoom all the way in, focus, and then zoom back out. It's definitely not something I'm used to with my more modern DSLRs. There is a power zoom on the camera, but mine doesn't work. But the camera is very simple to use. You basically load the film in, which is Game Boy cartridge style. You just shove that right in there, close the door, and uh, you're good to go. You have an exposure lock. You have this switch here that will allow you to switch between daylight and tungsten balance film, which basically turns on a CCA filter. And to my understanding, and please correct me if I'm wrong, the CCA filter is basically an orange filter that allows you to shoot tungsten film in daylight. So if we're using daylight film, we just have to flip the switch accordingly. And one last quick note, make sure you stick around to the end of the video. I'm going to be showing you the video clips as I took them throughout the day like a normal crap shoot video, but at the end I'm going to show you everything just right in a row. Alright, enough about that, let's go shoot. So tremendously huge brain here, I left it on. And as I went to put it in my camera bag, I hit the trigger and wasted like another second. So we're off to a really good start. Rebecca and I were headed downtown. We were meeting up with some of her friends to do brunch. I decided to take the Super 8 camera with me and just kind of shoot around a little bit. Pretty casual. Of course, it had a rain. I did two attempts at panning from the MTA sign to the train coming, uh, of course the timing was really bad on the first one so I redid it, and I should have went with some sort of exposure lock because the sudden dip from exposing for under that overhang to the train is kind of jarring, but I still love the motion. I did two shots looking out the window of the train while we were still above ground. I really love seeing all the different buildings, and for the second shot I tried to do a really tight focus on the drops on the window, but uh, your boy messed that one up. <laughs> We made it down to 33rd and I wanted to get a shot going up the stairs. As I was walking up though, I realized just how horribly shaky it felt, so I stopped. I really liked the shot of the people walking by on the street holding their umbrellas. So I just stood still for a sec and grabbed a quick clip of it. Upon reviewing the footage, one thing I noticed was I think I was so concerned with running out of film that I didn't hold many of these takes long enough and I should have rolled a little bit longer. I was shooting on Kodak Vision 50D, which is 50 ISO daylight, and even though it only gives you 50 feet of film, which is like 3 minutes and change or something like that, it is actually surprising how long one of these rolls will go. So if I can give a little bit of advice from this experience, don't be afraid to use up some of that footage because you never know, you're going to come back and realize, ah, 3 seconds, what am I going to do with that? Club. There's so much interesting stuff constantly going on in New York City and that's really why I love coming down to Manhattan to shoot. I got really wrapped up in the surroundings and took a bunch of shots of taxis going by, the buildings, Rebecca, all that fun stuff. We went to a coffee shop and I got some really sick out of focus shots of our coffee cups. You know, there's some latte art going on in Rebecca's. Pretty good coffee too, forgot the name of the place. It started to rain harder so I put the camera away, but we made it to our destination. We were getting brunch at the Crooked Knife. Finally, it was time to put this low light beast to the test. That's, uh, that's pretty bad. I'm just kidding, I don't have the right film in there. I have 50 ISO daylight film. I probably would have needed to use 500T or something like that to get these shots to look not like, well, this. There was one beautiful shot I took within here though, and this is probably my favorite of the whole roll. This drunk dude outside dancing with his umbrella. That was some, uh, that was nice. I shot a few more inches, feet, 
video clips while I was in there while somebody had quite a few mimosas and uh, I'm not naming any names here but it wasn't me I don't, I don't drink those I had a Guinness though that was nice after that we went for a walk over to milk bar because people wanted cookies or milk whatever the hell you get from there I took a bunch of clips along the way now I gotta say, these were a mixed bag. Obviously it was dark and this was only 50 ISO film, so a lot of the clips were very dark. But to me, the shots with the neon and the car headlights or car taillights or street lights, they really look special. I love the texture of all those shots, especially the shot with all the cars lined up and you can see all their taillights. It's, it's so pretty. So my friends got their cookies slash ice cream whatever things. I just got a coffee, which was pretty good. Actually, it was an Americano, and uh, I still don't fully know what that was. I think it was espresso or some. It doesn't matter. I got a bunch of footage. How you doing? That's okay. Also, Rebecca was singing Under Pressure by David Bowie and Queen that, that really, you know the song, I don't really need to explain it. <laughs> it felt like we were in there for a couple of days, so I did get a bunch of footage. And after that, we called it a night. All right, so day two, um, I left this on in my camera bag like a genius, but it didn't die, so look at me go. So just now, I shot Jacob with his, <laughs> with his 35 millimeter from Urban Outfitters, and then he shot me with my camera from, from, yes. I don't know what that woman was saying, but I did feel the need to agree with her. Anyway, we shot each other with our 35mm cameras from Urban Outfitters. You actually saw this clip already in the video about the camera from Urban Outfitters. I didn't have an abundance of film left, but Jacob and I were walking to a camera store, so I figured I'd just shoot around and finish up the roll. We were on our way to pass through Times Square, and I figured that's where the bulk of it would get shot. I know it's really touristy and cliche, but seeing Times Square with all the modern billboards and the 2020 ball drop and all that fun stuff, filming that on Super H just gives you such a wild juxtaposition. It's like these two ideas that are completely opposite of each other, and I just, I love it. So I ended up filming a bunch of stuff here, and I'm glad I did because honestly, I feel like these are the most striking clips. They really stand out to me. Shooting Super 8 is a really amazing experience, and even though it's kind of expensive, and by kind of I mean it's very expensive, I still encourage you, if you're a filmmaker, if you're interested in video, you owe it to yourself to try this at least once. There's this amazing sensation of like stress and anxiety and anticipation every time you start filming. If you're working with actors, man do they need to know their cues, because every second you film, you're just wasting dollars. I'm really happy with how the footage came out, and I had an absolute blast shooting on it. The shoot was casual, but I enjoyed it so much that I decided to make a short film entirely on Super 8 after this. That'll be coming soon on Nailed It Network, which is the other channel that I post my short films to. We're editing it now, and I have my good friend Alex from Conversing with Oceans, who's going to be scoring it. So that's going to be super cool, so make sure you check out both of those channels. So anyway guys, I'm just going to play this video out on a montage of everything I shot, so I hope you guys enjoyed that. But as always, thank you so much for watching, guys. Smash that subscribe button, share this video, that, that'll help me out, and uh, find me on the socials, I'm on MySpace, Instagram, Discord, Twitter, TikTok, all the fun places, not Facebook, because that's that's not fun, and I'll catch you in the next video. X-Pro 3 review and deep fried video meme tutorial coming in the next couple weeks. Alright, bye.